polar bears remind us how crucial it is to take care of our environment. Their icy homes are at risk because of changes in our planet's climate. But these bears are pretty tough. They've adjusted to live in the chilly, frozen Arctic. This video will talk about how polar bears are adapting to melting ice and changing habitats, using science and indigenous knowledge to understand their behavior, health, and survival. Before we continue, please consider subscribing to Explore Wildlife. Now, let's chat about how polar bears and brown bears are relatives and how this connection shaped the polar bears we see today. A while back, scientists found out that these two bear families mixed, sharing some DNA. This mix is part of what made polar bears the way they are now. Polar bears have been around for ages, even before the last ice age when it was super cold and the earth was covered in ice. That was the perfect time for polar bears. They were everywhere. But then their numbers started to go down and so did the variety in their genes. This variety is super important because it helps animals adapt to changes. Now the ice where they live and hunt is melting, making them swim more and sometimes struggle to find food. Talking about counting polar bears, it's not a walk in the park. Scientists have gotten creative and started using planes to fly over the Chukchi Sea, part of the Arctic Ocean. From way up there, they use some cool cameras and gadgets to spot the bears and their footprints on the ice. This way, they can check out big areas way quicker than if they were walking around down there. By flying over and snapping photos, they get a way better picture of how many polar bears are out there and their favorite hangouts. This info is really valuable because it tells us more about polar bear families, their icy homes, and how they're dealing with stuff like the melting ice and other big changes up in the Arctic. Next up, let's talk about how polar bears are masters of change. Tweaking their bodies and behaviors to tackle the harsh Arctic conditions. Their bodies have changed, giving them some neat features to live in such a tough place. One of the coolest things about these bears is their genes. They've got genes that keep them cozy, help them find food, and even let them swim in freezing water. Some of these gene tweaks are like family heirlooms, passed down from their ancestors, getting better with each generation. Now, figuring out if a polar bear is going to have cubs is a tricky business. Scientists have found a clever but unexpected way to get some hints but they also don't want to stress the bears. So, one clever way they try to find out is by checking out the bear's poop. Crazy, right? Turns out polar bear poop is full of secrets. Scientists search for special proteins in it, like tiny puzzle pieces, that might hint if a bear is pregnant. But it could be more straightforward. Each bear is unique, and the amount of these proteins in their poop can vary a lot. It's tough to be certain if a bear is expecting little ones. Even with super careful techniques, the results can be kind of puzzling. That's because these protein levels can change for many reasons, not just pregnancy. It's like trying to complete a puzzle when you don't have all the pieces. Even with these hurdles, studying polar bear poop is still one of the neatest ways to learn about their pregnancy without messing with their chill life in the cold Arctic. Moving on, the Inupiaq people, who've lived in the Arctic forever, have some serious insights about polar bears and the shifts happening in their icy homes. A major change is with the sea ice where the polar bears hang out and hunt. This ice is breaking up sooner and forming later each year. Plus, it's not as thick and sturdy as it used to be. 
This means polar bears have less time and room to catch their favorite snack, seals. With the ice changing, the bears are ending up on land more often. The Inupiaq have seen these bears looking worn out and even weak when they first get to land after swimming a long way from the melting ice. And it's noticeable that some bears aren't as chubby and healthy as before, which is pretty concerning. The Inupiaq have also noticed more mother bears making their dens on land. Not on the sea ice, like in the past. Lastly, we'll talk about how polar bears aren't just sitting back as their world warms up. They're switching up their habits, showing they're pretty resourceful when it comes to survival. With the sea ice melting and not being as solid, polar bears can't depend on it like before to catch seals, which is their go-to snack. So they're getting inventive and munching on different stuff. They're going for birds, eggs, or even plants. Pretty much anything they can get their paws on. This shows that polar bears are quite adaptable and open to trying new foods when their regular menu isn't available. But even though polar bears are making these changes, losing the sea ice is a serious issue. The ice is like a big floating platform they use for hunting, moving around, and sometimes even having their cubs. With less solid ice, polar bears end up swimming more, which is exhausting and risky. It also makes it tough for them to find enough food and stay in good shape. People are concerned about these changes because they could spell trouble for polar bears down the road. Scientists and those who want to protect nature are working hard to get a better grasp of these changes and find ways to help polar bears cope in a world that's getting warmer. Subscribe if you liked the video, and there's another one showing on the screen.